friends welcome back to our happy place we are back with new episodes and these episodes are called motivational monday it's going to be a marvelous time come on in well hello friends welcome back to our happy place another edition or episode of motivational monday today i want to talk continue our um conversation about god's love oh my on february 6th because when you will see this it will be february 13th i woke up from my morning prayer as i normally do and it was just an overwhelming presence of God's love. And I don't know if it was because I was talking with you guys about his love or he was just affirming me. I don't know. But it was almost like he did kiss me on my cheek and just remind me, reminded me of how much he loves me. I mean, it was just amazing. And through my prayer time, I started thinking about um, how God has been so good to me throughout my life and I wanted to share a little bit of that with you guys and I want to first put this disclaimer out there it is my testimony or my story is not meant to bash anyone it is just my story I, it's the truth my um, mom and dad separated at a very early age when I was very very young and uh I didn't know at the time that a daughter's first love is her dad. And because he shows her how men supposed to treat her, how a husband or a man is supposed to treat her. So I wasn't aware of that. I didn't know. And I guess I was just oblivious to it all. But little did I know that it was going to cause some um, emptiness in me if you will and i realized that i went looking for love in all the wrong places in bad relationships bad friendships just all the wrong because i wanted somebody to love me i mean a friendship if that person didn't like so and so i didn't like them why because I wanted somebody to love me. I didn't know if that person wasn't going to like me anymore because I didn't go along with them. In relationships, just hoping that that person will love me even though they said it, did they really do? You know, um, it, was, it was very hard for me um, because I was a people pleaser, wanting to please everyone because I wanted someone to love me. Um, I didn't really realize at that time that that's what I was doing. Now, hindsight, of course, is 2020. Looking back, it was just a little broken little girl looking for love. And I didn't have to look because his love was there, always there, but I wasn't aware of it. But when, when I came into contact with the Lord, oh my God. It was finally like a, an open door, like the hurt and the emptiness that I felt, it was not there. It was like, hey, I love you for who you are. I love you. And I realized for the first time that I could be myself, that I didn't have to be with a certain person to feel loved or to be in a certain friendship to feel loved. I didn't have to be like nobody else. I could be me. And he loved Mary for Mary. And that made me wow, <laughs> wow. And in return, falling in love with him, that was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. Falling in love with Jesus is just, you can't get enough of it. Can't get enough of it. And the same way with him loving you. 
The Bible says his love is unfailing. I mean, there's nothing we could do that's going to cause him not to love us. And I'm so thankful for that. And in that morning, I started thinking, and I don't know where I heard this story from or where I saw it. And I may even be paraphrasing and putting my own words in it. Uh, but here it goes. There was this rich man that came into this potter's barn because he was looking for a piece of pottery for his collection. And he was going up and down the aisles, but he didn't see anything. And before he was walking out, he looked in the corner of his eye and he saw a beautiful jar in the back on a top shelf. So he went and he picked it up and he just, this is a jar I wanted. So he brought it to the owner and he said, I would like to purchase this jar. And the owner said, it's, I'm sorry, sir, it's not for sale. He said, but sir, I want this jar. I need this jar. And the owner said, I'm sorry, sir, it's not for sale. He said, sir, I'm willing to pay top dollar for this jar. He said, I'm sorry, it's not for sale. So the rich owner, the rich man was really persistent and he was like, sir, name your price and I will pay you thousands more for this piece of jar, pottery jar. The owner was still very determined and very persistent in saying, no, it's not for sale. And the rich man said, I don't understand why you don't want to sell it. He said, because it cost me something. Let me tell you the story. He said, I was working with this piece of clay and it would not do anything. It was just not working for me. So I threw it in the corner. And let me pause for a scripture break here. And I wrote this down. Jeremiah 18 and 4. But the jar he was making did not turn out as he had hoped. So he crushed it into a lump of clay again and started over. And I continue with the story. He said, so when he threw it in the corner, he just didn't even worry about it. Well, one day cleaning out the barn, he started picking up the trash and he saw the lump of clay and he was like, let me try one more time. So he picked up the clay, put it on the potter's wheel, started kneading it, adding the water, and then finally he started molding it, shaping it, putting his hands, working it up and down, in and out, moving it. And while he was doing that, he noticed there was beautiful stripes of red going around that jar, the pottery. And he just kept working because it was just so beautiful. And then once he finished, he noticed that was little brown, dark brown spots around the jar. So he turned off the wheel and when he took out his hand, it was scarred, it was scratches, blood seeping from his hand. Because little did he know that there was pieces of glass inside the clay. And so as he was molding and shaping that jar, the glass was cutting him each time. So he told the rich man, so as you can see, this jar is not for sale, for it cost me something. It cost me my blood. You and I are not for sale. Because we cost him something, his blood. When he laid down his life on Calvary, that crimson blood was for you and it was for me. No amount of money, no one can stop him. No one can say, are you crazy to die for these people? Love said, I will do it. And love did it. That's the unfailing, unshakable, unmovable, unstoppable, unbreakable love of the Father. His love, nothing compares to. That's his love for you and for I.
for me. So let me put a commercial break in there. If you think the little episode that I did today and last week on love was something, I only gave you a snippet of God's love. On February 5th, my pastor, Pastor Jeremy, taught a phenomenal message on God's love. Matter of fact, he wasn't even supposed to preach that. He had a different message. But the Lord stepped in and said, no, I'm going to preach this message because I want people to know how much I love them. If they can realize how much I love them, they won't have to turn to this. They won't have to turn to that. They won't feel like there's no hope if they know how much I love them. So do yourself a favor and go to Grace Tabernacle on Facebook and watch February 5th, <coughs> I was about to say episode, a uh, sermon. You would be amazed and it would maybe help fill a void in your life. Again, it's Grace Tabernacle, February 5th uh, service. If you can't find it on Facebook, you can always go to my Facebook page. It's on there. And in closing, because this video will go out February 13th. So the next day is Valentine's Day. <clears throat> so I want to give you something on behalf of the Father's love. A rose. You may or may not receive a, a rose on Valentine's Day. You may have never received a rose. But God loves you. And this is his rose to you. To remind you his love will always be there. He will never stop loving you. That reminds me of the song that we sung in Sunday school, Jesus Loves Me. Now, I'm not going to sing because y'all are going to be like, oh, my goodness. I know I can't sing. But Jesus loves you. So on behalf of him, I give you this virtual rose or roses. So now you have your Valentine's Day gift. Happy Valentine's Day to you. God bless. See you next week on another episode of Motivational Monday. Bye.